Well, this is interesting. The old school logo. Hell yeah. I <laughs> wonder, like, different choices. How we might end it up. No. I like the hand we've been dealt. Arcade. <laughs> Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. Or the... I don't know, that thing. That magic. New Grand Theft Auto expansion? I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. No. You sounded more and more like a sneeze. Ah, shit. Here we go day. again. My job. My score. Get your own. All the rides are 50 cents. So take those ladies off. Just haven't had this much fun. We should talk about work. We out here gang banging like it's 91. I was born in 91, Ice Cube. We all love banks. Get me a DJ. This cannot be traced back to me. <laughs> Flying DeLoreans. Nice. Champagne, anyone? That looks like Lawrence from fucking Inside Gaming. Just sort of smash things. Tron light cycles. I dig it. So now what? Nice. I mean, why wouldn't Grand Theft Auto V be on PlayStation 5? Like... Oh, nice. That's cool. There you go. That's dope. It's a great way to build the hype train for Grand Theft Auto players. Give them frickin' literally free in-game money. It was great to kick today off with a look back at just some of the seminal moments of the last 25 years. And what better way to bridge our past and our future than with a game that's graced every PlayStation console? This guy is like Grand the most Auto. asymmetrical it's face I've ever seen. His face is like too small for, for his head. Now. And we're thrilled to open today with the news that that partnership will continue with PlayStation 5. It's now just over a year since we began sharing technical details of PlayStation 5. But today's the day that we've been looking forward to for years, when we get to show you just some of the games that demonstrate our belief that PlayStation 5 mocks the biggest generational transition our industry has yet seen. How about showing us what it looks like? The content like? was curated for today's event showcases how PS5 has inspired developers to create new experiences that are transformative in how they look, sound, and feel. Enough from me. We're going to have the games do our talking. Until you start talking again. Duh. <laughs> nice. I like the simple logo. Cyberpunk. 
looks very cyberpunky. Someone who doesn't give up. Oh no, this is um, infamous. Your dad said that. It's electricity. Right. It's infamous. Oh no, it's Spider-Man. Duh. I'm dumb. Now it's your turn. Go be a hero, Miles. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Dude, all those particles are gonna look really good on the on the PS5. Spider-Man Miles Morales. Hell yeah. Dope. Sol solid launch title. They would like to share with everyone some information about their new Gran Turismo. Damn, they're still trying to make a comeback? I loved Gran Turismo when I was younger. Even Gran Turismo should make fans very happy. Okay. He looks CGI. Dude, Gran Turismo hasn't made a solid game in fucking years. Polyphony Digital. Isn't Polyphony the same company that made Ace Combat? Confirmed, we're gonna be able to turn on AC in our race cars. <laughs> Seven. Nice. Gran Turismo Town. Why does this look like a Facebook game? What is this? This looks like a cross between like a Facebook game and like a game on the Switch or something. <laughs> At least that overhead like map view looked like that. Oh god. Knack 3? <laughs> what is this? Plants vs. Zombies? Oh, Ratchet and Clank. Yes! You're right back to Hell yeah. No way. It appears that the dimensions are collapsing on one another. If we cannot get to... Get... To right, the ship. No, I mean, we can't be that far. You're that far. I have it in my sight. They have found us, Ratchet. Uh, 
How do I steer this thing? Ask nicely. Slow down, please. That's not listening. Ooh. Hell yeah. The dimensions are weakening considerably. Interdimensional ratchet and clank. Sign me the fuck up. Well, it is certainly not good. Great. Where are we? That looks like Narshada. So colorful. I like it. Ratchet. We are too late. Ratchet? Oh. No? Ratchet and Clank ripped apart. I like it. I like it. That's gonna be really fun. Hi, I'm Marcus Smith, creative director at Insomniac Games. The entire studio is so excited to be able to share with you a first ever look at Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, a brand new, full length, interdimensional adventure built from the ground up. What does full length 5. mean? We're doing things that we've never that been able like to do. Like a 15 hour before. campaign? Like use dimensional rifts to be able to leap from planet to planet nearly instantly, or put ray trace reflections on Clank. All yeah, of our that. alien worlds are Looks filled nice. with density and life previously unseen. Plus, Ratchet's all new arsenal is more exciting than ever thanks to the Dual Sense controller's enhanced feedback. Sweet. Ratchet and Clank are near and dear to our hearts at Insomniac, and we can't wait to share more with you in the future. But for now, here's another look. Did you see that? Oh. Octopus. That's what a kraken is. It's a giant octopus. I will never get used to that. Hey, to break reality. Don't let him get to the boss. Did Doctor Nefarious really resurface after all these years? Just a try. And take over the universe. Opiary spike, is that what I saw? Shatterbomb. So many particles. That's all of them. It's a lot of particles. Show us that Apex is going to be on the PlayStation 5. Square Enix. Ghost of Tsushima? Sushi? Ghost of Sushi? <laughs> what is this?
the fuck? Who is she? Project Athia, Athia, Project Athia. Hello, Deathwing. Nice, another PS5 exclusive. That's cool. Interactive, Blue 12. R.I.P. Humans, part. <laughs> you play as a robot in this then? The last human? Hobo robots. No escape. Robo Kitty? No, nope, just a kitty with a vest. Robots making robots. Understand. Stray. Yeah, you play as the cat. Okay, that's cool. Another game that's meant to just look super pretty and show you the capabilities of the new console. Right on. Really pushing the futuristic theme of the PlayStation 5 with all of these uh, short logo breaks in between trailers. In between trailers. 4K Ultra Blu ray. Ultra high speed, SS, high speed SSD. Ray tracing. Lasers, lasers. Lasers on crystals. Particles, yes, all the particles. Haptic feedback, oh, okay, but particles. Plot twist, this entire live event was filmed using the same engine that is on the PlayStation. Adapted triggers, nice. I'm looking forward to what the controller feels like. Okay, nobody's gonna use that speaker. They tried to push the speaker on the PS5 or the PS4 and no. Or the PS3, I think, had the speaker? Oh, the PS4 has it, too. Making games used to be about these constant trade-offs between the artistic vision and technical limitations. With PS5, we're not going to be burdened like that. We're going to be able to realize our artistic vision a lot better. It's got a ton of horsepower, which is very easy to unlock, and it's a, a machine that's really easy to develop on. The PS5 will present a paradigm shift as to what players will come to expect from gaming. Will cool. let us tell stories, make worlds, create gameplay that I think will truly captivate the player and really surprise quite a few people. Please take a look at this new franchise for Worldwide Studios, coming exclusively for PlayStation 5. Another exclusive. I dig it. It's the exclusive show. Of course, why wouldn't they show all the exclusives? House Mark game. Over and over, I relive my first moments on this alien planet. 
Lost in space, crash landed on an alien planet, gotta survive. Sick. The attack. My death. Heterochromia, she got two different eye colors. She is an alien. Oh, it's Groundhog Day. Trapped in this endless cycle. She's in a time loop. Okay. Even death is no escape. Yeah, you're in a time loop, girl. Each time I awake, this planet seems somehow different. As if changing. This world is becoming part of me. Infecting my mind, my memories. The longer I spend here, the more I can feel my sanity slip away. The ring but vibes. I cannot lose hope. So if you die, you start over. It's kind of like permadeath, but the world changes too. My only choice is to keep fighting. For answers. My only hope is to break the cycle. Before the cycle breaks me. Procedurally generated levels, huh? But every time you die, it changes and it's procedurally generated. I'm taking a page out of No Man's Sky. I dig it. Looks interesting. Lightfall? Nope. Sumo digital. The fuck is this? Furry games? That's a furry. What up, Satan zombie? Welcome back. Sumo Digital presents Furry Battle Arena. Oh, it's a little big planet. Nice. Sack boy, a big adventure. Manch, manch, manch. <laughs> the happiest Yeti snowballs I've ever seen. Sap girl? Just drop in, drop out gameplay, or co-op. Kinda like the Lego games then. You just turn on the controller and drop in. Could be a fun drunk party game. It looks like it's drop-in, drop-out, co-op, though. That's dope. Yeah, yeah, sack boy. So far, I'm not really, like, overly impressed, but these titles look cool. Game by Lucid. What the fuck is this? Battle Arena game. Very unique characters. Demolition Derby? Yeah, it's a Demolition Derby. It's like Twisted Metal 2077. Just bring back Twisted Metal! Why is she out of the vehicles? But they're all out of the vehicles. 
get in a vehicle, destroy the car, hop out, fist fight. This game is just road rage. <laughs> you can get on top of enemy vehicles and hijack their car. This looks like if Fortnite made a Battle Royale Demolition Derby Twisted Metal Hybrid. Why is this giving me- this is giving me so many like Fortnite vibes right now. Destruction All-Stars. It's Twisted Metal Fortnite. Right on. Why not? Hello everyone, my name is Josh Greer and this is my brother Mike. We're from Ember Lab, a small team with a background in film and animation. Indie, indie and we're team. very excited today to share with you the first look at our indie new devs. Team. It's a story full of adventure and charm that has themes in personal growth and redemption. So please enjoy. Didn't even know this was today. Yeah, surprise, it's today. <laughs> They're adorable. What are they? <laughs> I know you are kind. You sense the power that flows through this. The little floofs. Yet you do not fully understand it. Driven by the belief that you can help these troubled spirits. She's a young Hanzo. But you cannot hide your weakness from me. That's a bad guy. You have no power here. Working at the moment, right on. Looks interesting. Yeah, so far. She's got like a little mob of floofs that follow her around, it looks like. Yeah, they do stuff for her, so you control her and the, uh, the mobs. The floofs. Young Hanzo and the floofs. That's the new title. Floofs, attack! Kena, Bridge of Spirits. Kena? 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 Kena and the Floofs. Floofs! You ever feel like you're just waiting for a sign? Anchovies on pizza? Ugh. To do that thing you've always meant to do. Pterodactyl angel? And a triceratops? Sometimes I feel like I'm just standing on the edge of doing great things. Dinosaur high? Yeah, it's dinosaur high school. But something's holding me back. Maybe it's just nerves. Maybe it's the fear that... I'll never be as good as what I imagine when I'm still just standing on the edge. But if we've got nothing else to lose, might as well jump. Goodbye, Volcano High.
past the end of an era. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Fucking dinosaur teen drama game. Okay. That looks like... That doesn't look like the greatest potential in a game to show off the new console. It's just like, what is that? Hi, Who I'm asked Lauren for that? Lanning, and I'm here to share with you a game that I've been dying to make. Odd it's world. an emotionally engaging story where rescuing is rewarding, failure is devastatingly hilarious, and the memories should last you a lifetime. Yeah, it's Oddworld. Take Hell yeah, let's go. Unless it's a new franchise. Yeah, well, Oddworld. No longer a slave, Abe. They believed trusted, followed, and it led them here. You may have escaped that angry stare, the though. Blades, but the fate of your entire people is up to you. <laughs> Angry train. They look like Jackin. Ever watched any Yasha? I've never seen any Yasha. But this is Odd World. This is an old school franchise from the PlayStation One Gate One Days. Oh, he's breaking his stitches. Oddworld Soulstorm. Nice. Never got into the Oddworld series, but I know that it's a great franchise. Solid games. 10 out of 10. PlayStation 5 is the loudest to realize our vision of Tokyo. Tango Gameworks. You'll be able to see, hear, and feel. The charm of a Tokyo never seen before. What we're about to show you. It's the world's first Ghostwire Tokyo gameplay video. We hope that you can feel the threat and the beauty hidden in this mysterious and supernatural Tokyo. Please enjoy. Word. Tokyo, Japan. Dude, I'd love to go to Tokyo. That'd be so fun. You see things others can't. Silent Hill, Tokyo. Your threats, others don't. Spirit gates, cherry blossoms, broken umbrellas, ghost girls. Yeah, I want to go to Tokyo. Fight for all of those reasons. Others won't. Okay, I'll eat it after this. Go. It's up to you to save Tokyo. Is that Slenderman? Yes, I love this. Yeah, it looks fucking dope. This looks interesting. So many particles. Fucking Death Stranding Tokyo Silent Hill. I dig it. Silent Stranding Tokyo. Ghostwire Tokyo coming 2021. Right on. I like it.
What is this? Super Brothers. Bruh, hands. <laughs> Carve out a future for a people. To space? Haunted by oblivion. To space. We're going to space. Propelled by dreams. In space. I like space. In space. Year zero. In space. Year one. In space. Oh, oh, it's progressing fast. So interstellar, but in game form, I guess. Looks like it. Looks pretty. Very simplistic graphics, though. Looks like a PlayStation 2 game, but with like PS5 cutscenes. Even the music is very interstellar. Jet. The Far Shore. Okay. Looks like a PlayStation 2 game with PlayStation 5 cutscenes. Another logo break. What are this? Gearbox? What is Gearbox making? Counterplay games? Oh, is this that Godfall game? The melee only game? I dig it. I still don't know what it's about, but it looks dope. Master breathtaking weapons. Vanquish worthy foes. So give me the give me the crown, mate. Wait for the Unlock godlike armor. Nice. Dark Souls, Mount Olympus. A Purian what? I didn't see that. Ascend. Godfall, yep. Dark Souls, Mount Olympus. I wouldn't be surprised if the PS5 is just like a simplistic box. No like cool angles on it like the PS4. <gasps> a black hole. It's another space game. I dig it. I like space games. I like Destiny 2 so much. It's in space! Reminds me of Journey. She runs so fast. Zoom, zoom. Solar ash. And she can climb, walk upside down. All right. 
2021. It was a giant space worm. Sleek. Yeah. I agree. Hitman? Ghost Recon? Not Ghost Recon. Fucking Metal Gear Solid? I O I. It was always gonna end like this. All your hard work, all your sacrifice, only sped up the process. Shots fired, shots fired. Man down! Something tells me they don't have radios. Two men down. Two men, three men go into the woods. Two don't come back out. Okay, main game. Hacker Nabrak here from Ion Tractive. In Hitman 3, Agent 47 is back for his most intimate and professional contract in his entire career. He hasn't been professional this, this whole time? This is also the okay. dramatic conclusion for the World of Assassination. Of course it is, trilogy. yeah. Whatever, never got I'm into so Hitman, but here that's to cool. present a little glimpse of the gameplay where Agent 47 I heard the movie was great. The world in Dubai. Enjoy. the angry golfer. Cool. I'm glad that trailer wasn't super long. This is the XMB. I guess they're not going to call it the XMB, but this is the the new UI. No? Okay. PS5 is PSVR ready! Those are the little characters you see in PSVR, I'm pretty sure. Stream. Fuck. How to train your dragon? Subnautica. Sledding. Uh, 
freaking bats. I love bats. Schmeet flowers. Schmeet. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> He's braving it out in the world, and he's cozying it up in his little box. Giant frog. <laughs> he's dropping bombs. Oh, that's funny. Looks like a mobile game. Little devil inside. Okay. So you get a mobile game on PlayStation 5. Cool. What's up, everyone? I'm Zion Williamson of the New Orleans Pelicans. Here we go. The first ever teaser for NBA 2K21. Y'all are not ready for this. Oh, looks cool. I ain't Pretty trying to alpha footage down. though. Real. You might as well give up now. Think you got a chance, but I don't see how. Got a real tight grip when I hold that crown. I'm the first one in and the last one out. Whoever owns the place gotta drag me out. Haptic feedback controller says you can feel them running and slam dunking. I don't mean to say when I stray. You better just Spyro? Spyro, is that you? Nope, that's a strawberry. I've been bamboozled. Big sad. It's a living strawberry. That says his name. It's a Pokemon. Okay. Strawby? Amazing. Aren't they? Half bug, half snack. Half, half bug, half snack. A very recently discovered okay. species, entirely unique to this island. Oh, this one's lively. Beautiful seed patterns. Yep. Mm. Oh, and it's tasty too. Well, yeah, it's a strawberry, and you just Welcome turned into to one. The island of bug snakes. The creators of Octodad? The fuck is Octodad? I am confusion. Why are there ribs crawling around? Burger bugs? Sandwich centipedes? Bread crabs? Cinnabon snails? I'm just so confused. Is this like spore? The game? Like, uh. Invitation is open. Come join me on the island of Spikes. No. Liz, Liz, I um, I was trying to carry a lamp with my weenie hands, but I dropped it, and uh, now the town's on fire. Paint his hands. Again. Oh, and it's bug snacks with an X instead of a CKS. I'll pass. Ice cream cone snake. There's the villain. Okay, yeah, cool. When the bugs rise up. Got it. I'm uncomfy. I hate this. Oh my god. Yeah, same. That was fucking weird.
My weenie hands, yeah. Yeah, I know. No. That game needs an M rating. Or NC-17 for the, the, the weenie hands comment. Another logo break, unless they're showing us the actual hardware. Hi everyone, nope. okay. thank you for being with us today for this very special event. But before we get to the end of the show, I have something very near and dear to me. Okay. What are they? Dark Souls? This is Dark Souls. Dark Souls 4. Yep, Dark Souls. Right on. I never a big fan of the Dark Souls games, but that's cool. Dark Souls on PlayStation 5. Dragon has two mouths. Demon Souls. So it's the first one. Deathloop is a next-gen first-person shooter about rival assassins what did he say? in a time loop. This is our unique vision, what Arkin is all about. Freeform immersive gameplay, a surreal player-driven story smashed together. Want to see some stylish action? Check this out. I don't understand the first word that he said, but it sounded like the name of the game. Nails. Is this purge the game? Not making this easy. Oh, it's Dishonored, 20, Dishonored 2077 with nail guns. Damn. Restart loop? Oh, it's a Bethesda game? I'm out. Good morning, Black Reef. Another day, another death. Our time loops fun. There's two time loop games so far. Interesting. For everyone else on this island, this place is paradise. A never-ending party where hunting me is the main attraction. And no matter how I try to escape, they always cut me down. But I'm one stubborn motherfucker. Every loop I'm learning a little more, piecing together the puzzle. There's eight targets, and they all gotta die before midnight. There's just one little snag. 
<laughs> you thought it was going to be easy? Juliana Blake. Black Reef's protector and a real pain in my ass. She may kill me a million times, but eventually, inevitably, I will break this fucking loop. This is Deathloop. There's a game called Deathloop. If at first you don't succeed, die again. Watching you die. I like killing you. There's a difference. Yeah, no thanks. Logo break. His story comes to a close. Who was his? Kratos? Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to the fairies to her father. Nope. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch, and into the forest. What is it with that creepy story? It's just a local tale. You're really into that stuff? Quit being so paranoid. No, no! Friendly! Friendly! Who are you? Who sent you? Well, he shot you. But he's a ghost. They're coming. Who no. Is this? And this is Resident Evil, isn't it? I think I saw the Umbrella Core logo. Baba Yaga. Spooky game. I hope so. No, it's definitely spooky. I think this is Resident Evil. Werewolves, nice. Village, not Resident Evil, okay. Oh, Resident Evil Village. Resident Evil 8 Village. Chris? Sorry. This takes one bullet, dude. So I'm guessing there's a bit of story there that I don't know because I, I don't play Resident Evil. But cool. Alright. I'm so far I'm really not like impressed. I think the game I'm most looking forward to, if I had to pick out of all these, would be Ratchet and Clank, but like Come on. Impress me. The bar is not very high right now. Is this Warframe? Looks like Warframe. A Warframe helmet. Same, unfortunately, don't know anything about Resident Evil. Yeah. 
Yep. Spaceman CSI. Got a digital cat. All right. Uh-oh, gravity no work. That looks interesting. Pragmata? Pragmata. Teleport it back to the moon. Freedom. Our freedom. Hmm. That looks interesting. Now I'm impressed. Like, that's all that it took. Show me a game where, like, a fucking alternate reality Tenu from Warframe rescues a little girl from an Earth that doesn't have gravity. And they had robot cats. That's kind of cool, I guess. Why not? Throw it in there for all the cat lovers. S.I.E. presents... What? What are this? What are this? The old ones perished a thousand years ago. Their great cities turned to graves. Looks In pretty. Place came new life. Don't be mean. He's just trying to eat two. The new dangers. Oh, it's Horizon Zero Dawn Part Two. Nice. Never got into this game, but I heard it's great. I must find a way to stop it, or it will get worse and worse. Zavala's in this game. Forbidden West. Horizon 2. Forbidden West. Nice. Oh, here's the villain. 
whatever comes. I will be ready. Cool. That looks great. Not much else, but that's cool. On behalf of the entire team at Guerrilla, we're happy to share the first look at Horizon Forbidden West. We're continuing Erga's story as she moves west to her far future America. To brave a beautiful but dangerous frontier masked with mysterious new threats. Get ready to explore distant lands ravaged by massive storms. And take on new powerful machines as you return to the majestic world of Horizon. Stay tuned for much more. We can't wait for you to get your hands on it. I think there's a lot to look forward to for the community. I think fans are going to be really pleased. As a game designer and storyteller, this is incredibly exciting. We're talking a whole new generation of ideas and experiences that we can create for the player. No matter where they are, no matter who they are. New experiences like we've never had before. More iconic, interesting characters. More atmospheric, immersive worlds for players to explore. We want to wow players. Respect the unexpected. And I, for one, can't wait. We can't wait. We can't wait to share them with you. It's so exciting. Incredibly exciting. It's really about the players and the As a developer, that's an amazing feeling to have. Welcome to PlayStation 5. Who are you yelling at me? Now show us what the console looks like! More logo bricks. So many particles. There it is. Interesting. That looks very interesting. That's pretty. It looks like a trophy of some sort. <laughs> It's got a fast charge port, so that's cool. Two USB ports, just drive fast charge port on top. $600, yep. Very interesting. This looks like it's gonna be a nightmare to take apart. But I can't wait to do, to fucking just tear it apart. It's okay. I like it. I think it looks cool. Is that the pro and the slim? Oh, digital edition and regular. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Headset. We hope you've enjoyed the first glimpse of our future today. You've seen our most striking console design yet. 
and you've seen games that can only be enjoyed with the full range of PlayStation 5's features and power. At PlayStation, we believe in generational transitions, and we put years of work into making them happen. Like the we want controller, you I don't know about the rest. The unique benefits See, it's funny, because I'm not really a fan of the controller. I think it looks ugly, but I like the console. It looks interesting. It's pretty. We're launching later this year, and we have tons more to share. Welcome to PlayStation 5. <laughs> I just thought of something. <laughs> Let me let me go back a little bit. <laughs> PlayStation 5's features and power. Hold on. At PlayStation, we believe in generational transitions, and we put years of work into making them happen. We want you to enjoy the unique benefits of moving from one generation to the next. Thank you for joining us. We're launching later this year, and we have tons more to share. Welcome to PlayStation 5. I realize what this reminds me of. <laughs> the monument from Dead Space. That's what it reminds me of. The red marker. That's taking forever. But yeah, it reminds me of the marker from fucking Dead Space. Play has no limits unless you reach the uh, capacity of your hard drive. Then it kind of has limits. Anything else? Any cliffhangers they want to leave us on? Nah, they want to leave us remembering that console. Cool. Well, that was interesting. I think Bug Snacks totally took the show here. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. 